Hi, everybody. I want to make a correction for this example in topic 13. All right. So, the you know, if you look at the first page of topic 13 handouts, okay, so inside the function need to look like x minus h. So, what I want to do here is rewrite what's inside the absolute value. So, what I can do, see, this is not this is not x, this is half x. I need to make it look like a x minus h. So what I can do inside my absolute value is to factor out the half between these two terms. So the half I factor out should still be inside the absolute value. So if I factor out a half, half going to half x, x times, half going to positive two, half going to positive two is basically two divided by half which is a positive four. So this is almost an x plus h, right? So to so this plus four really is x minus a negative four. So now I got x minus h. So matching it up help us with the, with some of the answers. So this is a radical function. All right. Horizontal shift. So x, x minus minus h is negative four. So technically, this is where my correction is. Your function has shifted to the left four places. All right. It's still going down. Number three is still down three. The k is right here. All right. Still reflection. Ref reflection about the x and y axis is still none because there's no negative sign in front of the absolute value or in, in front of the x. All right, does the graph um, stretch um, vertically or compress vertically? So there's not a number in front of the function, so that's none. So let me, as I come down here, let me rewrite my function, okay? So my function start out with f of x equal to absolute value of a half x plus two minus three, and I rewrote it as half x, half times x minus four, excuse me, plus four minus three, which is the same as x minus negative four, minus three. All right, <clears throat> uh, horizontal compress and stretch. So there is, so this half right here, the in front of the x, that will tell me that's a stretched horizontally. All right, the x and the set is still the same as what you saw on the lecture video. Still going to be 2, 0 and negative 10, 0. The y in the set, still going to be 0, negative 1. So the graph, so the very bottom of the v, right, the absolute value function, every single point is going left 4, down 3. But remember, in topic nine, the original, then the most basic absolute value function, the very bottom is at the origin. So this very bottom has also shift left four down three, left four down three. X intercept, Y intercept. So your graph looks something like this. Okay, left four down three. So the range, the very bottom is negative four, negative three. So the range got to be from negative three down to up to positive infinity. Okay, so there's just a quick correction on this example for topic 13.